Welcome, I'm Valerie Mazars for Phase 2 Harvest Time News. I'm being joined here today by our church treasurer and building committee treasurer, Andrew Root, and he's going to give us an update on Phase 2 Capital Building Campaign. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you, Valerie. It's a pleasure to be here. Andrew, in the fall of 2013, we started this Phase 2 Building Campaign. So that means we're about two-thirds of the way through it, correct? Yes. Um, we've completed right around 62% of the months of giving, so we're just under two-thirds of the way through. Andrew, I also know that there were many people who gave in the beginning, and they made three-year commitments, and then there were newer church members who came halfway through the campaign, and then there have been others who have contributed outside a monthly pledge. Mm -hmm. Can you break down for us exactly what those numbers look like, the amounts and the persons, and where we stand today? Sure. So at the beginning of the campaign, we had just under $3 million committed, $2.95 million committed by the people who were here at the start of the campaign. Uh, in addition to that, we've had just under $500,000 given by people who didn't pledge and who joined since then and so weren't part of the original pledge. So we're right now just under $3.5 million in total pledge amount. And to date, we've actually received over $2 million. So we are 72% of the way through the original $3 million pledge and about 62% of the way through the total pledge if you include both those people both those groups of people. So the church is tracking extremely well and we're very thankful for everybody's faithfulness in giving towards the campaign and very optimistic that we will complete the campaign having received more than the original $3 million that was pledged. That is truly outstanding, really, really impressive. Andrew, I know that we applied for a loan from the Assemblies of God for this construction project, and so far we have not tapped into it because of people's generosity. Mm -hmm. Give me your estimate of how far do you think we can go in this project before we have to tap into that. Well, we've certainly gone farther than I probably would have expected, but I may have a smaller measure of faith than some of those on the board or the building committee, but we're very thankful for how far we have gotten. So right now where we are is we're in the process of ordering and purchasing the steel, which is the single biggest item uh, in the project itself, and the real work that the committee's done to get a lower and lower price and really work that part of the project has had a great benefit for the church, and all through that period of time, the church has been faithfully giving, and so all that you have seen so far with the foundation being poured, uh, the plumbing work starting, uh, the backfill starting, the steel purchase, uh, and initially what we'll see with the first floor deck coming on, uh, all of that's been done without any incremental debt. When we started the project, we had around $4 million of total debt in the church. Uh, we still have that amount today, and we still have a little over a million dollars left in the building fund account for the purchase of the steel, so we expect that will be enough for the purchase of the steel. It's been a little bit the situation uh, of the widow who was uh, approached by Elijah, who just had a little bit of oil and a little bit of meal left, uh, and she had a plan to eat it and then die, and he said, no, give it to me first. Uh, and then her oil didn't run out, and I can sort of see that in the numbers as they come along on a monthly basis. The Lord has just continued to be faithful uh, to people, and they've given uh, in, in just an exceptional way. So share with us a little bit. We're looking down the road a little. Talk about uh, the finances, how they're flowing, and how you see the things um, in about 6 to 12 months. Yeah. That's a great question. As we have seen such faithful giving by the church and we have uh, every expectation that we'll meet the pledge that was initially made, um, we have uh, enough money to cover the project through the borrowings that have already been committed to us. However, as everybody with the mortgage knows, um, your dollars typically go to the bank first and then to the principal second. So every dollar that comes in is so valuable. It's really more than a two for one dollar because it prevents us from having to pay interest. Uh, it reduces the amount of principal that will be drawn down when we enter phase two. So uh, even though the giving to date has been tremendous, every dollar from here on out is, is even more important than what we've seen to date. Well, serving people versus serving debt is everything. Andrew, thank you for everything you do, both of being the church treasurer and being the treasurer on this building committee. We have so much to be thankful for, to be excited about, and to be praying for and looking forward to. Thank you very much. Signing off, this is Valerie Mazars, Phase 2 Harvest Time News.